if you like this video, please click share, subscribe, like it. Uh, and if you want coaching with me in Nottingham or online, all the information is in the bio. How are you doing all right? So last week's post went really well, that 147. Um, and this week I've been, I've had a lot of requests about uh, wanting me to show people where I'm aiming on the white. So what the public wants, the public gets. It's quite a geeky one. Um, I'm going to do, I've, I'm going to obviously repost it, but I'm going to have me commentating or talking over explaining where I'm aiming on the white. Obviously, in order to do that, I have created a graphic, which is very geeky, but, you know, we are where we are. Uh, so I've, I'm going to post that graphic on the screen. It's got two lines on it, one right, one left, and numbers on it, one to five. And wherever I'm aiming on the white to play those shots, I will just let you know at the time. Um, obviously, um, if I'm going out of those, they are helping sidelines. So it's half a tip right, half a tip left. There's a post on helping side if you want to look at it. Not yet, but, you know, a bit later. Um, so, yes, you'll see that most of my shots are on those lines. Very rare. I will, I'll, I'll go out of those realms. So here you go. So here we go. Right then. Let's go. Let's see how we get on. So nice break off. And I read it too thin. So fantastic start that was. So that would have been not enough right hand side there. Now this shot probably find the middle, but I'll probably be erring on the left side left side of middle so there's if there's anything a little bit of running side so maybe l2 uh this one r between two and three butchered it no good so here we go we've got a long ball here so this shot i would say it's right between Three and four. No, just get the ball spinning. The white's just spinning a little bit in my favour. You know that little bit of right spin. Not a lot, but it gets the white moving. So what do I play? Do I play for the red in the middle, don't I? So very easy to think that you need left-hand side on this. So this is trace of right, I would say, maybe two, R2. Try and get in the middle, but don't go left. You don't need to go left here. Look, see the white just rolling now. There we go. So I'm not perfect, but I have to play a nice shot here. So this shot is a right cut, so it will be L between four and five. I've got to really quite nip into this, so I need quite a lot. I need the backspin to take pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm talking about that red lot. I don't want to be near there. So, it's very important not to be right of middle on this. So, you see how the white's got the tiny bit on, but it's not, by the time it's rolling. got halfway there, there's no spin on. So, you don't want to be, like I say, right of this. So, this one, play do I play there. cannon? I think I play a cannon, don't I? Yeah, there we are. So, again, R, R4, 5. So, that little bit of, see it was spinning a little bit of the white. Didn't quite get enough backspin on it, but I'm all right. I'm on the red now. Happy days. So this one, again, because I want the white to move left, I'm digging down, so that'll probably be left, left three, maybe. And this one again, R oh, four and five. I'll screw into this so you'll see the Ryan spin look. There, there it is, look. But again, I'm yeah, still on those two lines on the little white ball graphic. I've never rail, I've never gone out, out of those two lines. So it's just help inside. Some positions where there's a lot not touching, but listen, not a lot goes. I don't know what I'm thinking like about here. Move. What am I talking about? Yeah, Rambling on, I suppose. There, where the, sorry, where the white is there, it's a nice That's right, I'm talking to about going into so the I pack I think that's it leave myself low on this red and then screw it into that gap 
So yeah, just try and find the middle if I can. Obviously, it'll be one or two on the centre line just to get low. I don't quite get there, but now this shot again, this will be R four. The right hand side, the right hand side spin. The, the, the ball will be sort of spinning a little bit and because i want the white to go right it's really important that i'm not left of middle here and that white will just keep moving look there's that spin look obviously it's spinning more because of it harder but i've not had to go further right there than a trace i'm all right things do go a bit more now so i think i'm moaning still here about it not open so again try and find the middle so that like number one when you're digging down, try and get the middle. It's all right, but you've got a Talking about where I've landed now. there, but I've landed a high black, which is good. So again, this will be R4. R4. Don't need more side spin than, than a trace here. If you look at the white, it won't be spinning too much. It'll just be rolling. Look, now it's just rolling, look. Probably about... Probably about R between R four and R three for that oh, shot. I've still got a shot on. I've landed in not the best this, position here. Cannon, I think. I'm on the blue after. And I think I have a little argument myself whether I'll go for the blue or go for the maximum. And obviously, I pick for the maximum. This next shot is left cut, so I don't want to be left in middle. I want the white to move right for me. So this will probably be R four five. And you'll see the white spinning a little bit. Well, it's just trying to go that way, but it gets it going. So this shot left cut again. I want to be just right of middle for this shot. So I think I'm playing the... No, that's it, I just drop it in. So this will be R, R3. Just drop it in the white, come off this bottom, the, the black rail, and stay on the red in the corner. I'm having a little fight with myself there, whether I'm going to the pack, but I think I just dropped the red in. Yeah, that was just, I don't want to be left here, so just there on the right side. And then the ball's rolling, look, there we go. So now it's on one good split. You know what I'm thinking now, don't you? Do I play off the side rail here? I think. So I think I do when I bridge yeah, over this move some, some point. the pack. So again, this shot, I want the ball moving right. So I want, if anything, err on the right side, maybe R two here. Just get it moving a little bit. Again, I was going about the tracer side. It's not going to be spinning too much. But it just stops it going the wrong way. I think helping side is as much about not being the wrong side than being the right side, if you know what I mean. Probably makes no sense, but um, I know what I mean. Message me if I want me to do uh, explain it better. So again, right, this is a right cut, so I will definitely be left of centre here. On that line still, I've never gone further than those two lines yet on any of the shots. Maybe the break off I should have been. So you'll see the white spinning a little bit, left spin, because I want the white to go left. Look, there we go, look. I've got a, not too bad a split there. So again, I'm having to fight with myself to go up for the blue. So I opt for the black, so left cut into the middle, tracer right, so maybe R3, maybe. Because this I'm gonna go for it we'll see just watch the white how it moves for me there's no nothing stopping it going that way if you've had a wandered left that little bit of trap check spin will trap the white and it won't move so much for you I'm gonna go forward now I think I top this in don't I so very easy to think I need loads of right like r2 or r1. I'd rather go middle here and let the top spin widen the angle up there, look. So I didn't have loads of like right-hand spin on that. A lot of people want, because that's a harder shot. I'd, I'd be anything in inclined to go trace a left with that shot with loads of top, but, but here. So this will be try and get the middle, like number one on it. 
I've not got it. If anything, like I say, L1 on that shot. This one I'm doing just screwing back, so I think it's just dead straight. So one of them reasons why I try, will try and find the middle there. Here we go. That red would be nice getting on that. That would be nice. Am I on it? This one, probably centre, obviously between two and one, just so it runs forward. I want a little bit of top spin to keep it going. Look there. Right. And now I'm perfect on a high black. The pink, on the pink spot. What do I do here? Play for the red. Yep, so there we go. So I'm going to go high. So this will be R2. Oh no, that's, that's not right. I'd have gone middle there. I thought I was going to play off one rail. So again, I didn't go left. I didn't go like L2, which people will try with that shot. I'll go middle. This will be L, L2, L3. Oh. This one again, probably top it off two rails, don't I? Very easy to think you want sort of R2. But I'll go centre, just get, let the top spin make it go a bit wider look, and then it's just rolling, yeah. and you'll get there. But because I'm not going the wrong side of the middle for that, like a right oh, cut, it'll not change the potting angle. I don't have to make any, any allowance for that yeah. wrong spin. So again, this will be R4. There we go, just trap it a little bit. So left court, this will be on that R line, depending on what I play. What do I play off for one one rail, is it? Yeah, that'll probably be about R3, R4. This will be, it's a foul, I know. But um, just that, that'll be for the middle, really, that. Just one with number two. I'm on a high black, so right court, L, L2, L3, and that, as soon as that's on that line, it'll just get, get there. Look, you see how there's no, there's no spin left by the time it gets on the cushion. It's just off that object ball, it gets it moving. I haven't gone far here, so... I want the white to move right, so I'll make sure that I'm probably R2, just to sort of punch over, do I punch it across? Look, and there it is, yeah. This one, dropping it in, this will be R2, maybe. Yeah, R2, that'll be. right and yet I get perfect to be honest happy days so the next one this will be tracer left number two just to get that little bit of top spin and get the ball rolling no you see these a lot of the times when I've played these shots by the time the whites left the object ball there's not much spin on really unless I've hit it harder this one is I'm gonna go high, just number two here. I'm not gonna put any side on. Just let the oh, let the top bring it a bit wider for me. I think this right, is dead so straight, so I just did. I've got to try and find number five I'm here. Sure screw back in off. So I have to find the middle, even though it don't exist. I hit this pretty well. Yeah, happy right. days. And now again, this shot, R2, right two. Look, just a bit higher than middle, look. Don't be left. The white moves for me. This one, do I come off two rails? So it'll still be a trace. Uh, maybe left, left two. Between left two and left three, like a stunny, stun shot. Do I put too much on? Gets there, look no. really quick this table oh, at the minute. No. So, this one will be I'd say I'd just wander a bit further left than Trace here. 
So this will be a bit more than left between one and two. And then it keeps that side on. I want proper, that was, I want side on that one. That's just not trace. So it's only shots like that where you really have to get it around the table, make an angle for the side. Obviously this one, find just number one, just drop it for, drop it in. And then this final black, well, I want to put it to it's just off straight. So find the middle, so number four, maybe. How do we do it again on? And it's in. Cheeky grin. Happy days. Maxi. So there it is. Uh, I think you'll probably be surprised how little or how many, how many times I've, I've, I'm on those helping sidelines. It's about getting the correct side of the middle to play the shot that you want. Tracer up, left court, tracer left, right court. You can get most positions on the table with with help inside you don't need to go further uh, you're just going up and down and then that up and down on the white will you'll find the angle path of the white off the object ball and then it's just rolling because you know ultimately you just want the ball rolling because then if it's rolling it's on the path then it's just about the pace uh, if you're starting to run to just spin and skid you know, it's harder to do that um, so like i said sometimes you will need to put side on because uh, I think side and helping side are often confused. Um, they're similar, but not the same. Because um, actually, with a lot of sides, you have to, you know, you put a deflection and the spin's going to affect the potting angle. Whereas helping side is very small, sort of evens itself out, really. It's not something you need to think about, very easily picked up. So that's that, basically. Um, please comment uh, any, any questions about what I've done. Um, and you know, if you think I'm great or not so great, you know, please comment as well. Uh, so yeah, see you soon.